Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be an update on my Project 10 Pan. It's been a while since I've updated you guys, um, so I thought I would give you guys a quick rundown of how things are going. I'm actually wearing almost all of my Project Pan items on my face right now because I just filmed a Get Ready With Me using Project Pan items right before this. So this started as a Project 10 Pan, and now there are eight products left. One of those I decluttered, and another one, um, the Everyday Minerals Blush um, that I showed you last time is empty so we have that's why we have eight products left so i'm hoping to get that number down even further in the next few months so anyway let's go ahead and get started the first product is this ulta double duty primer and foundation in the shade classic ivory i have actually made quite a bit of progress on this i'm gonna insert close-ups of everything so that you can see exactly like where the marks are this third line here is where i am today so there's really very little product left in here so i'm hoping that by the next update this will be gone and I'm happy to see this go soon because I don't really like it that much. It's a very thick foundation and it just, I don't like the way it sits on my skin. So I'm excited to see progress on this one. The next product is this Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana highlighter. This, um, the pan has expanded a little bit since last time. I still have a lot of product left to use and unfortunately this is not my favorite um, product so it's been slow progress but I'm hoping to use this as like a brow bone highlight now um, and even just as an all over face setting powder to kind of speed up the process, but that's where I am with that one. The other highlight product that I have here is this Fior Minerals Ignite Illuminator. It's a cream highlight. It's really hard for me to tell how much I have left, but that's what it looks like. I still haven't really hit pan, although it's such a creamy and soft product that I don't know if I'll ever really hit pan. It's kind of a strange texture. It's very, very creamy and emollient. But I've definitely, I've been using it a lot. I've used it almost every day. And then I also have three eyeshadow products in this project, which is something that I will never do again in a project pan. Let's just put it that way because it's just too much. But this is the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow in Toast. It's a really sparkly gold. I'm wearing it on my lids right now. I love this, but the problem with it is it is kind of hard to work with and it can be really messy so I have to be really careful and I have to use like a tissue to shield my face from getting all this fallout when I put it on. So that is why I don't want to reach for it every day because it's just such a hassle to use it. But it really is almost gone. There's not much left in here so I'm hoping I can just power through. The other e.l.f. eyeshadow, again, I have barely made any progress on it. The problem is it really doesn't go with this other eyeshadow palette in the project, so it kind of stinks. I wish that I could use it more, but it's the mineral Pressed Mineral Eyeshadow in What's Your Name. I still haven't hit pan on it, so I don't know. I'm just, I've just kind of been putting this on hold because, I don't know, it just doesn't go with, I've really been focusing on this palette, and this just doesn't go with it, so... Hopefully I can focus more on this this next month. And then this palette, like I mentioned, it's the Wet n Wild 5 Pan Smoke and Melrose palette. I have officially hit pan on every shade. This shade right here I actually completely used up, this like brow bone highlight color. And actually today I finally hit pan on the burgundy shade, so that's exciting. Um, and I also recently hit pan on this gold. And then um, these two shades I had already pan on last time but I've definitely made even more progress on those so this is going well um, it's gonna take me a while to actually completely use this up but I'm happy to see lots of progress on this one and then the two lip products again I'm regretting putting more than just one lip product in this project but this is the Sonia Kashuk Shine Lux Sheer Lip Color in Sheer Melon this is very much a summertime shade and I am officially in fall mode now that it's September, so I probably won't be getting much more use out of this this season. I'm thinking about just, I may actually declutter this because I just don't really like this that much. Um, the color is just really bright, not really quite my style, and it's also very glossy, and I don't really like glossy lipsticks, so I don't know. I'm going to think about decluttering it, but for now I think I'm going to pause on this one and maybe take it out of the project because... I'm just being honest with myself in saying that I'm probably not going to get much more use out of this. Yeah, so that's kind of a bummer, but um, I have made a lot of progress on this other lip product. It's the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in Natural. It's what I'm wearing right now. As you can see, there is only a little bit left. I mean, well, 
it looks like a lot, but I've definitely made a ton of progress. I think I've reduced the amount that's left by about 50% since last time. So I'm very happy with this. I have no problem wearing this every day because it's so wearable. So those are all the products in this project pan. I feel like on some of these I made a lot of progress and on others I've made hardly any progress. So I've got kind of mixed feelings right now. But um, overall, I'm happy with my progress, and I'm definitely learning a lot about myself um, with this project. So if you want to see more updates, be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.